So here I was having my brother help me. I've already made a couple of marks on the board, and I was taking a, a quarter-inch piece of birch plywood and um, bending it in a way where I could make it curve on the board. And I'll show you what that's for there in a minute. Cannot draw the line. And now I'm just going to use the bandsaw to uh, cut that, cut along that line that I just made with the plywood to make a curve in it. I'm going to put this in a vise, be sure to grab some kind of cloth or something so it doesn't damage the wood. Just using a washcloth here. Because you do want this really tight so it'll hold on to it. And I just made one of these real quick, uh, just a, a thin piece of plywood and then spray glued some sandpaper on there and glued two kind of handles on it. So I've got these a quarter or three quarters of an inch in from each side, and then one right in the middle. I'm just going to mark these. Um, if there's any defects on the wood you're using, uh, like this one has got a couple of chips. Um, I don't remember where they were, but the, there was a couple of defects on this side, which so that's the side you want to put these pocket holes on, because that's the side you're inevitably going to hide. Uh, so I just got this little pocket hole jig. Set it right where I made the marks. And it says use a clamp, but this works fine. Well, as you can see here, I've got this box. The uh, the frame is screwed together, but these uh, plywood pieces are just kind of set in there. Um, so I did a dry fit to make sure everything fit correctly. And I cut um, the full length here. And then was going to fit these pieces inside of these pieces like this. And as you can see, that worked out pretty well. Um, there's a little bit of a gap there, but because I'm going to be covering this with cedar, it's not going to matter too much anyway. Um, and so that worked fine until I realized that there's no there's no cover here, like there is on on this side. I've got this big board, so there's I can put that piece here, and this board is going to cover it. But over here, not so much. So I just need to take. Uh, an inch and a half off of these long pieces so uh, these pieces will be able to fit all the way to the edge and hopefully seal that up nicely um, that also begs the question how I'm going to make that a relatively seamless transition and uh, I don't know yet so it'll be interesting so when I did that dry fit I, uh, I decided that three quarters of an inch on the long sides was too thick it didn't leave enough room inside the box for stuff so I uh, decided to thin it down a little bit. You can't plain plywood, so my first attempt was to uh, sand it with 24 grit sandpaper. It only took me about a minute to realize that wasn't going to work. 
So I switched over to a router and just did uh, multiple passes, you know, back and forth. It took me a long time to do, you know, two two of these panels per box, so four panels total. It was a uh, took a long time, but it was really worth it once the whole box was put together. I'm really glad I did it. It's, it was surprising how big of a difference just removing that little bit of material really did make. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and assemble the lid. Um, I've already got this stained and sanded and everything, so be sure to put it down on something that's not going to poke holes in it or anything. Alright, so I was just about to glue these other sides on, but I think what I'm going to do first is wait and sand these flush and then go ahead and glue the other sides on. So, I guess I'll get started on that. At this point it was actually Christmas Day and I was just a few hours away from giving these Hope Chess as gifts, so uh, the camera work and, and filming just goes to crap. And uh, I just set up the camera in the corner of my workshop and work as, worked as fast as I could. Hopefully you'll enjoy the rest of the video anyway. So, I made a rookie mistake. Um, I completely forgot that the hinge actually has a certain amount of thickness to it. So I need to cut away just a little bit off of this back rail so the hinge will set down in so the box, the lid will actually sit flat rather than tipped up all the time. So to do this, as you can see here, I've just got a makeshift um, uh, fence set up. I just measured as precisely as I can. Um, how far the blade is from the center there and then put this here and then tested it just by looking down and uh, it seems to be right on where it needs to be just to take enough off of this back rail um, and then I of course I set the thickness to the exact height using the uh, the actual hinge <laughs> 